I'm chilling in the studio with Wes Styles. Yeah. And his wonderful, handsome father, Roy <laughs> Guerin of our own chapel. How are you doing, Roy? I'm doing great, thanks. Awesome. Well, Wes, you are actually having quite a few performances here in the Spangdalem Nation. You want to tell us more about them? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm playing tomorrow night at the Brick House from 6 to 8. And then um, following night, uh, Friday night, at the Coffee Mill, which is on the third floor. And I'm playing, we're going to be there 7 to 10, but I'll probably actually perform at 8. That's awesome. Now, I understand that at the Brick, or at, yeah, at the Brick House tomorrow, you're actually having a guitar clinic. Like, what does that mean? Like, are you going to show people some awesome skills, or should people bring their own guitar? Or how does that work? No, but the, they don't bring their guitars. Okay. But it's a little bit of, um, you know, it, it, it can go a, a few different ways. Sometimes it just turns into a Q&A. Okay. Where it's sort of like, a, you know, um, in that type of thing. And I do songs. Or sometimes it gets more nerdy and turns into like a master class for guitar. Okay. Where, where sometimes there's a lot of musicians in the audience and they get real specific about like what I just did. Like, how do you do that? And, and you know, we get really detailed as far as like technique and... So, but it can go either way. And then Th that's awesome. So it's like an interactive almost performance. You'll show people things and then they are completely free to ask questions about it. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of like an in-person uh YouTube tutorial, but more okay. but, but more fun, you know. Oh, that's awesome. And then of course, after that at around 7, you'll start the performance. Yes. That yeah. is awesome. Now, uh also you're going to be at the coffee mill on um Friday. Right. From 7 to 10, you'll probably be starting your performance at 8. And for those of you who don't know, the coffee mill is in building 139. It is on the top floor. It's right across the street from the chapel. And the coffee mill has, like, free drinks and stuff like that. Are you excited for the free lattes, Wes? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I know some of the people there who are very nice, like Roy. Are you excited to have your son play at the coffee mill, Roy? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking forward to this. Yeah? You guys, uh, you were in the Air Force, Roy, and so you were actually stationed in the Germany area. So, Wes, you grew up here. I did, yeah. That is I'm so a, cool. I'm How's a... it to come, quote-unquote, home? Oh, it's beautiful here, yeah. It's always, you know, very familiar, and, and uh, it's nice. You know, it's, when you're a military brat, it's always good to come back. That is great. Well, and you have also been with a ton of famous people performing and stuff like that. And you were telling me you live in uh, Los Angeles. And the weather there, how is it? The weather's great. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm so jealous of sunshine. That's what I want more than anything, basically, over here in Germany. Yeah, there's a lot of that. It's like over 300 days of sunshine. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Well, um, you have a lot of your own albums out. I do, yeah. But you have also worked with a lot of pretty famous people. You want to tell us about some of the... Just throw some names out there. Um, you know who they are. Why don't you pick one? Well, <laughs> <laughs> I, I saw this. You have worked with Queen Latifah. How was that? That was great. It was super cool. Um, I've I've always just seen her in interviews, and I'm like, she seems so chill. Was she a chill person, or was she like, oh, she's just a diva Hollywood thing? No, she's a blast. She's kind of amazing. Um, she's hilarious, and um, she is not short on talent at all. She's uh, she can sing, produce, arrange, you know, she, um, and she's really kind of tomboy ghetto, but she's also very classy. So she just kind of has it all, um, you know. Like, if you're playing something with her and you do something she likes, mm -hmm. she'll, like, come and tackle you. Like, <laughs> you know, like right off the piano stool, you know. Are you serious? Yeah, like, she's just a blast. You know, she, it's like, amazing. it's like, you know. Yeah, like, you, first time I worked with her, I felt like I knew her, you know, my whole life kind of thing. You know? That's insane. Could you imagine, like, updating your Facebook? Yeah, I just got tackled by Queen Latifah. <laughs> totally, yeah. <laughs> I w this is totally off topic, but I once had a dream that Queen Latifah was my English teacher. <laughs> I'm not kidding. She would be that the was, coolest English teacher. She was, sure. too. Like, yeah. uh, we came in, oh, it's a substitute teacher today. It's Queen yeah. Latifah. Yeah. yeah. Crazy. Yeah, her class would be very popular. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great. I'll take your class. I don't even like English. I'll take your class. But you've also worked on, like, The X Factor. 
Right, the TV show. That is yeah. crazy. I Now, I've seen it every once in a while, and, you know, I've heard the background accompanying and stuff, and I've kind of always thought, you know, who is that? Who You know, where does that come from? You were on for, like, both seasons, right? Yep, on the U.S. on the US X Factor. Yeah. That's awesome. So would you just, like, uh, you know, play the music selections when uh, they had auditions and stuff like that, or were you throughout the whole um, process? Um, pretty much through the... Um, I come in to the situation once once they have um, f- like about forty finalists. Like I'm not in the uh, the cattle call where they're doing the thousands and thousands oh, okay. of auditions. Yeah, that's that's taken care of in different cities. Oh. But once they bring all the f- the the picks to Los Angeles to the you know to the s- the TV studio, um, and they start rehearsing and picking songs and going through that process that they call routining. Mm-hmm. Um, um, that that's when I come in. That is amazing. And to name some others you've, uh, you know, worked with, you've got Ty Taylor and the Crash Kings and Eric Dover, and you also are with Coheed and Cambria. Who, if if you can think to yourself and you don't mind saying, who is probably your favorite, favorite that you've worked with? Oh, there's no way. To, there's no way. Yeah, that's not okay. possible. <laughs> yeah. Well, what was, um, I don't know, what was one of your most memorable memories? Like getting tackled by Queen Latifah, maybe? <laughs> of course, yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. working with her was great. Um, you know, I was... You know, I was working with Ty, Ty Taylor. Um, I was playing in his solo band, and then I was writing tunes with him and stuff, and then he went on to, uh, um, to later become... He's becoming famous, like, just now with um, his band, Vintage Trouble. I don't know if you have them on your playlist, but... Um, they're um they're breaking right now so it's really it was really exciting to have a friend in la that was you know that was talented that that and that became successful after i worked with him you know so it was really cool to see one of your friends break. starting to yeah. break through <clears throat> yeah like to break out globally that so that is yeah great well we've been talking about um who uh the famous people you've played with and where right. you're going to be playing, but what are you going to be playing? What's your style? What kind of sets you apart from some other artists? Um, well, I've been doing, um, as West Styles, I've been doing the, uh, the the sort of throwback, funky 70s, 80s uh, pop stuff. You know, I've been doing that for a long time. And then, coincidentally, last summer, that became the sound, you know. So I was always this kind of this different sort of weird guy doing this funky music and you know kind of dis- disco influenced mm-hmm. you know pop and and then all of a sudden that was that became trendy so now i so maybe you started the trend yeah i doubt yeah. it west, <laughs> west style starting the trend right but it, but you know it, it's funny because it seems like i'm jumping on the bandwagon when, when really, you might have just started the yeah bandwagon. i've been doing it the whole time gotcha yeah well what influenced you to play that like did roy play a lot of funky 70s he did. music for you? he did yes <laughs> yeah actually He's, okay. it's his fault kind of yeah so that influenced you growing up the with saturday you? night fever soundtrack was definitely in his no in way. his mercedes no way seriously roy oh yeah oh yeah you were hit back then with the uh, latest tunes in the 70s yeah i used to be cool <laughs> Oh, you're still cool. You're suave. That's awesome. Yeah. So growing up, you kind of had a pretty good idea that you wanted to be a musician. Well, I mean, at first he he played guitar and sang, mm-hmm. and so it was at first it was just a thing that I did. Like I had piano and guitar lessons when I was young, so mm-hmm. it was just like any other thing, like 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 skateboarding or just another. It fun, was just a thing. A fun thing. Yeah, and then and then in probably in junior high school high school age. Um, one of my best friends was uh, like probably like the best guitarist on the block type of a thing, mm-hmm. and and it was like I just wanted to you know so I got serious about so was it like I wanted a to be rivalry? no I just wanted to be like him I just oh, more like okay. kind of admired so you looked him up to him. totally yeah oh. yeah and that really gave you the motivation to really get serious yeah because I could already play both you know both instruments so that then I, so once that happened I played like all the time you know. All right, yeah. so that's pretty awesome. You kind of started in high school, and then you uh, listened to all of your dad's '70s music, and that influenced your own sound. Yep. Yeah. Basically. Uh huh. That's pretty awesome. Now you have some performances coming up here in the Saber Nation tomorrow at the Brick House, starting at six with like a Q and A almost, right? Right, like a guitar clinic. Awesome. And then um, 
you actually perform at the Brick House at 7. 7, yeah. And then, of course, you will be at the Coffee Mill Friday. Uh, you'll be there from 7 to uh, 10, but you're starting your performance more around 8-ish, right? I think so, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. And, Roy, you're completely stoked to have your son playing at the Coffee Mill, aren't you? Oh, yeah, this is great. This is great. <laughs> I've never heard him perform by himself. Really? Before, I've heard him play in a band before a number of times, but this is the first time. And I've been listening to him in the living room, I tell you, it's, it's going to be good. That is I'm awesome. I'm looking forward to it. Well, you gave him some good sheens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's great. Well, thank you two so much for coming on the radio. It was a great time. And quite frankly, if you're ever in the area again, Wes, just come, just hit me up. We'll, we'll put you on the radio again. Absolutely. Okay. Awesome. Thank you Thank for you having. so much. Yeah, no problem. It was great. Uh,